What's going on guys, World Watch House back again with another video for you guys now. Daily content has been coming your way. In this video here, it's going to be a bit different. All the transfer gossip around Chelsea will be reported, but also looking at whether Roman Abramovich might take advantage of today's situation with financial fair play that could be suspended for a temporary time. So if you enjoy my content, make sure you smash the like button. If you're new here, subscribe and hit the bell notification to stay with you on World Chelsea. Like I say in all my videos, Please comment your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak about. Nearly on 10k subscribers, like I said in my previous video, Q&A with your favourite other YouTubers around Chelsea. Let me know who you want to see in the comments below. I try to contact them, make something happen, discussion and discuss with, with your questions, of course, and answer them from your favourite people as well, including myself, hopefully. So, um, yeah, I've been reading The Athletic, very, very informative uh, journalists that give news around Chelsea and, and just general news around the Premier League in fact. Now they're saying of course financial fair play could be temporarily suspended and what does that mean? What I mean look we have to look at it today's world. Many people are suffering not being able to pay rent, petrol prices have gone down, house demands have gone down, um, house prices are frozen you can't actually buy a house right now but when it becomes available again I'm sure it will go down. Why? Because of people's situations in today's world. It's the same with football. Many clubs are suffering, not generating enough revenue. So we have to be realistic. What does that mean? The value for players are expected to go down. And as we know, if that is the case, Roman Romic could break the bank, just like in 2004. Now, when he bought the club in 2003, he went on a spending spree. He changed football. We dominated football for at least a decade. We won trophies, most successful club in the 2010s and onwards. And it was fantastic to see. And, you know, we only kind of stopped because of Foundry Fair Play. Of course, the famous situation in 2008 when we tried to sign Robinho. Man City got the new owners and gave him so much money. Not that Chelsea couldn't spend that money. It's because we thought logically it's not worth it. So Man City took it to the next level from us. And in 2011, Foundry Fair Play came into play where it controlled the spending and we had to do the net spending, spending against uh, selling. So Chelsea have done really well in terms of doing that. However, a few average signings, but the big signings like the Fabregas, the Costa, the Kante, as we know, 32 million FC. And right now, you know, we've not been spending as much on big, big players for big money. But that could change. Why? Because, like I said, clubs could be suffering right now. Not all clubs are like Chelsea, Man City, your Barcelona, your Real Madrid's, Bayern Munich. You know, the list goes on. The clubs like uh, Lille, AC Milan are suffering right now. And they will need to sell their players as expected at a high rate. But now, maybe for half price. So I'll be looking at, you know, the goalkeeper and explaining the situation there. But before all of this situation happened... Chelsea were expected to sign at least five or six players this summer to build that new squad for Frank Lampard. And operations for uh, Chelsea are still continuing right now as we speak. You know, talks are happening behind calls, Skype calls, etc. So don't think Chelsea are still not planning anything. And like I said, guys, we have to be realistic. If the prices go down, I can personally see Roman Abramovich coming out and spend that money. He has all that money that he can re-inject into this club. Stadium talks are on hold right now. We have the opportunity to take. Not that I wish it on anyone. But I couldn't see this situation ever happening. You know, Did you ever expect prices for players. The value to go down. No. Of course not. It's been going up. I've seen Ronaldo in the last 10 years go 80 million and now we're seeing Harry Maguire in 2018, 2019 going for the same money. That's how much money has taken over this footballing world. Now, of course, it is very beneficial for Chelsea to take advantage. I think, you know, we've kind of thought about spending certain money. Now, of course, the Courtois situation was a bit unfortunate. Marina had, you know, faith in Courtois and stay in the last couple of days. He made a U-turn and left for Real Madrid, unfortunately. Um, Kepa came in. We had to spend more money than expected because we had Alisson in the pipeline. We were supposed to sign Alisson way before Liverpool. Make sure you guys check that story out because, look, that's one that we missed. I think Alisson's a fantastic sign and that could have been for Chelsea. And I hope Kepa reaches that level with Alisson. You know, De Gea on top form at United a couple of years ago. 
and you know pet a check over the time period that's something what Chelsea fans want to see but that's risk and reward if you wait if you risk it the reward isn't there we have to spend a lot more money and um Unfortunately, sometimes in business you win some, sometimes you lose some, and that's just how football is. So in today's world, Sky Italia are saying um, AC Milan will have to sell Donnarumma for 50% less than they expected. You know, the goalkeeper is expected to be around 90 to 100 million. They're saying they could sell him for 45, 50 million now. That's how today's world is going, and it's beneficial because Gabriel from Lille, we expected him to be a done deal. We agreed deal 30 million. ESPN have come out and said. Talks are still happening. Um, agreement is going to be done very soon, like Ziyech. They reported on Ziyech as well, which is why I kind of believe the story. Um, but they did say Chilwell over Teller, so we shall see what happens there. But with Lil, I think it's more of when rather than if, and whether Chelsea will spend 30 million or maybe 25 to 20 million. Of course, Lil want as much money as possible, financial situations. Um, I've been talking about TV rights, wages. You know, players not training, playing as much as well right now, which means standards are decreasing, so everything comes down. We have to think of it logically. This is a fantastic period for Chelsea. I thought we might be spending 150, 200 million on players and maybe selling players as well. But right now, we can spend less on top quality players. That's how I see it right now. And over the time period, in the next couple of months, I'll be keeping an eye out on what's happening in the world and informing you guys always about what to expect so yeah that is the main story of ffp it is expected to be suspended which will help big clubs um they do say experts want ffp to control um obviously fifa control the amount of spending from top top clubs now of course we need to spend a lot more to make the economy and the financial footballing world continue the more we spend the more um active clubs become and unstable so we kind of need to know where that assessment is where do we stop with that amount or level of spending of course i don't expect chelsea to go on top of man city barcelona real madrid but i expect them to spend a lot more than expect than they expected a couple months ago so very very good time to chelsea fans i do expect chelsea to spend a lot more money um and it just depends about the Morata deal for example does that deal still happen to athletic Atletico Madrid for that amount of money or do they decrease it to a bit less we shall see I think there's more positives to come out of this negative situation and that's how Chelsea fans should see it I've got some updates for you guys on Martinez in fact Lutaro Martinez of course his agent has come out and spoken to a Spanish newspaper um, I've actually not heard the newspaper before but I made a note of it where is that Claren is the name check it out there, he's come out and said that Barcelona, Real Madrid, Man City and Chelsea have been in contact about the striker. Um, he's not sure whether a deal has been done with uh, Inter Milan, but there's definitely been contact. Now, I've been saying this in my videos all the time. Expect clubs to be in contact with agents. It doesn't mean we're going to be going out to buy that player. They just want to know the situation. How much do we have to spend? How much does he want? Does he want to move to the club if we were interested? <coughs> and that's how we see it. So yeah, Bito Yaku, that's his name, the agent's name. He has told us um, that clubs are interested in the player. It just depends whether we make that bid or not. So that is where we are in today's world. Um, like I said yesterday's video, Goal said Sancho is number one priority, not Martinez. Martinez is up there though. So we shall see whether uh, we need to spend that big money on these type of players. Um, Martinez has a release clause of 110, 100 million euros. I don't expect Chelsea to spend that much money. And like I said, I hope... This market, I'm happy if prices come down. I'm really happy. Does that mean wages will come down as well? I'm not sure. We have to follow the economic world and see where it goes to. Now, of course, Van Ginkel has been training at Chelsea and in the stadium, which is quite fun and, and interesting to see. But he has said it's a bit boring because he has to train by himself, unfortunately. But yeah, guys, that is about it. I saw some funny news on 90 Min. Chelsea have added Villa's left back Matt Target just in case they fail to get chill or tell us. <laughs> no disrespect to the player, man, but we have stands, you know what I mean? So that is mainly it from this story. I hope you guys kind of understand where I'm trying to come from with uh Roman Romich might be able to spend again that you know lot on a lot of players. Um 
I think it will happen personally. I, I really have some hope on this situation. I think Chelsea can take advantage of this and I think Chelsea should take advantage of this and help Lampard become title challengers. Just like Glenn Hoddle has said, if we back him, he will take us to the next level, just like Harry Redknapp said to Lampard as a player. So that's how I see it. It was also reported that Chelsea have given Frank Lampard more responsibility, more say on transfers than previous managers, which is fantastic to see as well. So yeah, guys, that is everything from me. I hope you all have a lovely weekend, Easter weekend. Um, back to work in a few days as well. And yeah, make sure you let me know who you want to see on this channel. Collaborate with me. Maybe one live stream, maybe two live streams, depending on who. 10k subscribers help me get there smash the like button subscribe and hit the notification to help me get there well watch us guys i'm out take care all.